Okay, this is the last um, program. This is the one that's actually going to show you how to calculate the sentiment and the topic from the reviews that you were actually downloaded in the previous um, uh, video. And in order to do this, what you'll do is you will open up the sentiment and topic modeling XLSM file. That's the file that was downloaded in the very first video along with the uh, batch file and the uh, test um, address file. And what this program is, is very simple. All it is is an Excel file, but there's some Visual Basic in the background as well as a collection of words um, that will um, be able to do the sentiment analysis and topic modeling. And what we'll want to do is open up the data, um, the file that we had collected for all the reviews in the previous activity. So if I go to open, and I'm going to go to the directory where I stored that file at, which was on the C crawl final data directory. And you, you might store it in a different location on your computer, but that's just the default that the program um, that was uh, created uses in this final data uh, directory. And what we'll do is it's a text file, so we'll look at all files. Here's parsed reviews. We'll open that. And the important thing to recognize on this is that it is a uh, delimited file, and it's delimited with a pipe delimiter. So you just go ahead and use the shift and uh, put in a pipe delimiter there. And when this comes in, you're going to see all of these individual comments. These are um, the full reviews and then the, also the parsed um, pieces of um, the reviews, which we call opinion phrases. And I can just select this. You know, we only had uh, 1,175 uh, reviews from the previous activity because we, we cut it off so short. But I'm going to just copy those items and I'm going to paste them in here as the verbatims. And these are going to be the actual um, comments that we'd be looking at. Now, I would do a little bit of further filtering on this. So, for example, anything that has less than four characters in it or four um, uh, words in it, four terms, I would exclude because I wouldn't actually run them in the sentiment analysis. But this is just to show you how to use the program. So you just copy them in, and then you click on the, the button that says click here to calculate sentiment and topic assignment. And what it's going to do is it's going to run a um, basically a Visual Basic script in the background, Visual Basic for Applications, that is going to analyze each one of these. It's going to tell you how many words were in the, uh, the, uh, the opinion phrase, how much was positive, how much was negative, the positive versus negative, the uh, calculated value that I've come up with for, for the sentiment, and then whether it's negative, positive, or neutral. And then it's also going to say whether the comment was related to a particular area of product advantage. Was it related to value, to features, to benefit, superiority, superiority, competition, quality, or unknown? And so those are all um, shown here, which what percentage allocations to each one of these phrases, as well as the individual um, items. Now, um, this program is set with the word list that I've come up with um, based on the work of some others, um, as well as then the ones that I've put in here for the sentiment analysis, as well as a list of inverting terms that would invert the positivity of, um, of the either positive or negative term. And then it also has a list of terms associated with each one of the different categories, value, features, benefits. And again, if you add new terms in here, they automatically get picked up by the program. Um, you don't have to do anything with the program to modify it, but if you do want to see the program in the back end, um, you can hit Alt F11, which will take you to the Visual Basic um, for Applications editor. And in here, you'll see that there's two modules. There's a sentiment module, which does the calculation of sentiment just using a Bayesian calculation methodology, and then a topic model um, calculation, which it basically will do a topic assignment modeling for you within Excel. They're relatively straightforward. Um, you can do the same kind of thing in SAS or SPSS or other programs um, if you wanted to program in those, but um, I just thought it would be easier with Excel uh, to be able to have a user input data right directly into Excel to use this application. But this should give you everything you need based on those uh, videos. The first one shows you how to download the application and install it. The second one shows you how to collect the information from Amazon. And then this video shows you how to take the text and the parsed items and drop it into a sentiment and topic analysis to be able to get the details that you can then export out to a database or another system. I would recommend if you're going to run this, um, typically run about 100,000 or less opinion phrases at a time. If you run more than 100,000, um, 
you know, it can take quite a while and lock up your computer for a while as it runs through um, in Excel. But you know, up to 100,000, you should be you should be okay for for running this. And it will run for larger uh, data sets than 100,000, um, as long as you're running Excel 2013. Um, it just may take a while. Good luck, and I hope you find uh, uh, these programs beneficial for your research.